uh, Mr. Chen, thank you for joining us today. Uh, so we, no we know you are now in Davos, and uh, can we start with discussing what you hope to achieve in the forum this year? The main purpose of this trip is to reach out to the international community, to tell them the situation in Hong Kong, and to showcase to them the opportunities here. I also take this opportunity to meet a couple of uh, business enterprises, including some tech unicorns, mm. to invite them to come to Hong Kong to settle into Hong Kong. Mm. So uh, quite a packed schedule. Are those business leaders this year more receptive to uh, Hong Kong compared to last year when uh, you you were there last year? Well, the the sentiment uh, becomes better, although they have some concern about the uh, economic development on the mainland and its consequential impact on Hong Kong. But you know, uh, Premier Li Chang came to Davos yesterday and gave a speech about the continuing opening up of the mainland and the few strategies that they are taking in terms of moving towards high quality development. Mm. I take this opportunity to explain to them uh, our efforts in the past year in terms of attracting strategic enterprises to come to Hong Kong and attracting talents who come to Hong Kong, indeed they are impressed by the achievements that we have so far. And I also take opportunity to explain to them how we are going to further enhance the competitive we are going to grow our innovation and technology sector, including the facilitative policy and measures that the government has been rolling out to attract these companies to come. Mm. So the main concern this year uh, did not focus on Article 23, but instead they focus on like how the economic development in Hong Kong will grow. Go? Is, it, is it like that? <laughs> Quite true. The, dis the discussion all along, uh, focusing on the business development, Still, there are quite a number of them haven't been to Hong Kong for quite some time. Oh. So uh, they are keen to find out more. And I explained to them the key events, such as the uh, International Financial Leaders Investment Summit last week, uh, which was successfully held. And we are going to have a number of mega events this year. I invite them to come to see for themselves, because seeing is believing. And when they are here, they will be able to talk to their business contacts, their associates, and to, to feel the vibrance and the pulse of the city. So how are they perceiving the introduction of the national security law like Article 23 in Hong Kong? Uh, did they comment on it? It has been mentioned, but uh, not very frequently. Mm. And they understand this is uh, a legislation that the, we have to pass. And uh, some of them have the view that uh, perhaps get this legislation passed as quickly as possible and then let's move on and focus on doing business and how to use Hong Kong as a platform to capture the opportunity uh, in mainland in Asia. So um, have there been any uh, breakthrough, like um, are there like any signing of uh, uh, contracts or like co cooperations uh, so far? Well, I still have two more days to go. Uh, so far, the uh, response from the business sector is quite favorable. So uh, I tell them that uh, when they come, let us know. We will connect them with the right partners. And uh, the Invest Hong Kong and the Office for Attracting Strategic Enterprises will provide one-stop services to them. So Morgan Stanley issued a report saying like the Hong Kong property market might result in panic selling and may go further down if Hong Kong introduced a capital gain tax. So is it true that uh, the government is really considering about it or like what's your take so far? Well, you know, uh, every year in the process of budget consultation, uh, we have received different proposals from uh, different parties as to how to increase government revenue, how to cut expenditure. So uh, as a responsible government, uh, when we receive this kind of proposal, uh, tax proposal, we are duty bound to look at it in terms of due diligence process, but we do not have any plan in the uh, now or in the near future to implement this because we don't believe uh, Hong Kong has, Hong Kong has 
conditions to do it now or in the foreseeable future. Mm. When you say about like near future, uh, can you give a time frame or like what do you mean by like near future? Like um, like not in the budget definitely, but what about like in the coming year or like two? Every year in the process of budget consultation, uh, we have we we received a different tax proposal uh, from different parties. So as a responsible government, we are duty bound to do the due diligence to look at each and every proposal. But it doesn't mean we would implement for any change to the tax system. We have to be very careful, taking into consideration the impact on the competitiveness of our tax system. Uh, look at the impact on the economy, uh, the impact on our people, the impact on the business fam family environment, Hong Kong. So all in all, uh, it seems to me for now and for the foreseeable future, we do not have the condition to implement capital gains tax. So when you mentioned like you have to look into the Hong Kong situation, uh, does it mean that like you you're not um uh, planning to expand some of our, like the tax base or like because like the situation the economic situation now is not really um uh, good enough to um launch uh, like extra taxes. Well, I mean, we have to look at different ways and means of expenditure. But at the moment, we do not see that for now and for the foreseeable future, uh, Hong Kong has the conditions to implement capital gains. Some parties uh, suggest like there could be other taxes to boost revenue, such as the departure tax or the stamp duty on crypto. So what are your takes on uh, these recommendations? Well, for the uh, departure tax, I think uh, we have to consider very carefully. I don't think it is good for Hong Kong to implement it. What about like the stamp duty like on crypto? Like? I'm not sure the uh, specifics about this proposal. Yeah, uh, it, it hasn't reached me yet. So uh, when you mentioned like capital gain tax is not on the agenda, how would you like, what are the other possible measures to boost the uh, uh, huge estimate deficit, like how to address this problem? Well, you know, uh, globally, uh, many economies are going through fiscal consolidation. Uh, for us in Hong Kong, we are also going through that process. Because in the past few years during COVID, uh, government needs to spend quite a lot uh, to support the economy, to alleviate the impact on the people. Um, now we are in the process of fiscal consolidation. The idea is to take two to three years time to return the budget to its balance. In the meantime, uh, you know, we have investment income accrued before, accrued investment income to be brought back to uh, the government account. 